Hey friends, today I will be talking about eye centers and Kennedy's theorem. Eye centers are nothing but instantaneous centers of rotation or instantaneous center of velocity. If you look at the diagram here, consider two bodies P and Q. P is having a non-linear motion with respect to body Q. Uh, we consider two points A and B on the body P with velocities VA and VB. Uh, let us assume that point P, uh, body P is rotating in the clockwise direction. If we draw a line perpendicular to the velocity A, we can assume that the center of rotation of the point P of the body P lies somewhere on this line. Similarly, if we draw a line perpendicular to VA through B, we can assume that the center of rotation of body P lies somewhere on this line. So, the point where these two lines meet at that instant of time is the uh, instantaneous center of velocity of that body P with respect to Q. And the, way, and the way we name the instantaneous center is in the increasing order of alphabets or numbers. So we have i of p with respect to q or i of 1 with respect to 2 or i of a with respect to b. It is a, if a was written, if p was here and q was here, we would have named it i of p with respect to q only. Because the i centers do not change. They, they, remain, the, they remain same at that instant for both the bodies. So that is a brief note about eye centers. Now coming to Kennedy's theorem, it states that if three plane bodies have relative motion among themselves, their eye center must lie on a straight line. Now let us consider three plane bodies P, Q and R in which R is a fixed body. So R is not moving, P and Q are moving. P is moving with respect to R at point PR and Q is moving with respect to R at point QR. So PR and QR are the, are the eye centers of, of these two bodies. So you can see here it is named in alphabetic increasing uh, order of alphabet and here also it is named in increasing order of alphabets. So the and this point PQ is the mutual eye center of the bodies P and Q. So that is the starting uh, we go with. Now if the point now we have established that this PQ is a mutual eye center of the bodies P and Q. So this motion of this eye center has to remain same no matter with what body we can consider it with. So I this PQ, the motion of this PQ should remain same whether we consider it with body P or whether we consider it with body Q. It's just like saying that if two houses have only one door, the people from both the houses should move only through that door they cannot come out through any other way they have to come only through that one opening so similarly here i will have similar motion no matter with what body we measure with with respect to what body we consider it so now we have uh, that is the basic sense of this uh, kennedy's theorem so now what we do is we consider the mutual eye center PQ with respect to body P and we, can, we draw the velocity of point body P which will be perpendicular to the line joining PR and PQ. So we see that BP is this, this way that is the uh, motion of the mutual eye center PQ and now we consider the same mutual eye center P, PQ with respect to body Q and here we draw velocity VQ which is perpendicular to the line joining PQ and QR. So now from this diagram we see that the direction of eye center is different when we consider with, with, with these two bodies P and Q and it is impossible because the direction has to remain same no matter with what body we consider it. So this is a basic uh, disagreement with the Kennedy's theorem. So this I center has to lie on this if you consider it anywhere else other than the line PR and QR uh, you can see that if you consider it here or here or here you will see that the I center will have different directions when we consider it with singular bodies. So what Kennedy established is that I center the mutual I center PQ must lie on a straight line only. So if you can, if we put PQ here or here or here, you can see that the eye center, the direction will not change. It will be the same no matter what. 
So that's it. that is the basic essence of Kennedy's theorem. It says that if three plane bodies have relative motion among themselves, their eye center must lie on a straight line. Thank you.